Secretary of State Mike Pompeo called on the international community to join him Saturday in condemning Iran for drone attacks on two Saudi oil facilities, which he described as an unprecedented attack on the world's energy supply. Tehran is behind nearly 100 attacks on Saudi Arabia while President Hassan Rouhani and Foreign Minister Mohammad Sarif pretend to engage in diplomacy, Pompeo tweeted, referring to the nation's president and foreign affairs minister. Quote dot dot dot. There is no evidence the attacks came from Yemen. Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen claimed responsibility for the attack hours before Pompeo's tweet. The world's largest oil processing facility in Saudi Arabia and a major oil field were impacted, sparking huge fires at a vulnerable choke point for global energy supplies. Drone strikes target world's largest oil field processing facility, Saudi oil field. Attack claimed by Iranian-backed rebels the United States will work with our partners and allies to ensure that energy markets remain well supplied and Iran is held accountable for its aggression, Pompeo concluded. According to multiple news reports that cited unidentified sources, the drone attacks affected up to half of the supplies from the world's largest exporter of oil, though the output should be restored within days. It remained unclear if anyone was injured at the Abkhaic oil processing facility and the Karais oil field. Sen. Chris Murphy, decon, who sits on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, denounced Pompeo's description of the attack, calling it an irresponsible simplification. The Saudis and Houthis are at war. The Saudis attack the Houthis and the Houthis attack back. Iran is backing the Houthis and has been a bad actor, but it's just not as simple as Houthis equals Iran, he added. Saturday's attack comes after weeks of similar drone assaults on the kingdom's oil infrastructure, but none of the earlier strikes appear to have caused the same amount of damage. The attack likely will heighten tensions further across the Persian Gulf amid an escalating crisis between the US and Iran over its unraveling nuclear deal with world powers. In a short address aired by the Houthi-controlled al masira satellite news channel, military spokesman Yahya Asari said the rebels launched 10 drones after receiving intelligence support from those inside the kingdom. He warned that attacks by the rebels would only get worse if the war continues. The only option for the Saudi government is to stop attacking us, Asari said. The rebels hold Yemen's capital, Sana'a, and other parts of the Arab world's poorest country. Since 2015 a Saudi-led coalition has fought to reinstate the internationally recognized Yemeni government. Martin Griffiths, the United Nations Special Envoy for Yemen, called the strikes extremely worrying and urged all parties to prevent such further incidents, which pose a serious threat to regional security, complicate the already fragile situation and jeopardize the UN-led political process. Trump called Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in the wake of the drone strikes and expressed the United States' readiness to cooperate with the kingdom in supporting its security and stability, according to a news release from the Saudi embassy in Washington. Trump said recent attacks against Saudi state-run oil facilities have had a negative impact on the U.S. and global economies. Click here to get the Fox News app's White House readout of the same call said the president spoke to the crown prince to offer his support for Saudi Arabia's self-defense. The United States strongly condemns today's attack on critical energy infrastructure, the White House statement added. Violent actions against civilian areas and infrastructure vital to the global economy only deepen conflict and mistrust. The United States government is monitoring the situation and remains committed to ensuring global oil markets are stable and well supplied. Fox News Jackie Heinrich and the Associated Press contributed to this report. Let's block ads. Why?